Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. This video, I'll be showing you or will be discussing with you how to set up Verizon Wi Fi Extender. Before we start, hurry up and check out these outfurges on this video. So let's get started. So, if you want to set up your Verizon Wi Fi Extender, well, there are a few things that you need to do here. Now, first thing that you want to do is you want to plug it in and get it ready. Now, start by plugging your extender here into a power outlet. Now, give it a moment here. So, once the light on the front comes on, that's your signal, it's ready to pair. Now, what you need to do next is you want to sync this with your router. Now, on your main Verizon router, you want to press the WPS button. So usually you'll find it at the back or the side here within about two minutes. Now, press the WPS button on the extender itself. Both devices should start blinking blue. Once the light turns solid, they're paired up. So pretty much you're good here. Now, if needed, you could also try a wired connection. Now, if you'd rather lock in a stronger connection, you can connect the extender to the router using an Ethernet cable here. This option gives you more stable setup and cuts out a lot of guesswork. Now also, you may want to watch out what the lights are telling you. Now the extender communicates through the light colors. Now usually a white uh, light here means uh, everything is good here. So if you do see a solid white light, you're good. Now a flash blinking yellow means it's close to the router or in this case, you may want to move it far away. Now, a slow blinking yellow means it's too far, so move it closer. And if it's just keep, uh, keep splashing blue, the pairing didn't go through and you'll want to repeat the WPS setup. And also, you may want to adjust where it sits. So if the light isn't solid white yet, try unplugging it and placing it somewhere between your main router and the weak Wi-Fi spot on your house. Now plug it back in and wait for a bit here and check the light again. Now, once the front light stays solid white, you are good to go. At that point, your extender is locked in and boosting your Wi-Fi coverage. So you should notice smoother connection here in the areas that used to struggle. And that's about it. So if you found this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.